I sorted through so many cat pictures. But I also got some more serious information. Aegis thinks we killed the scientists, so it's activating some sort of kill order. It's going to flood the enrichment center, probably with all that goo, to eliminate any and all threats. That means you, that means me, and that means whatever that last thing is. So I'd suggest we... scanners, recalibrating sensors. Well, it seems that we won't be able to stay in the plant-filled test chambers much longer. It seems to be able to adapt to our actions quite well. We need to come up with a plan to take him on, head on. But leave that to me. 
You can continue solving these tests.
have no idea how hard it is to move around here. Anyway, remember those old turrets from all the way at the bottom of the facility? Those guys have no security systems installed. It should be really easy to reprogram them to destroy Aegis instead of humans. If we go down to a turret production line, we might be able to produce friendly turrets.
done. Test subjects rated that as one of the hardest tests in this track. I heard that it was made by two particularly cruel scientists. those files, there's terabytes of emails. I'm trying to find... Something that can help us. Ha! Huh. Did you know you can increase the size of your core in just two easy steps? Thank <laughs> you. 
So, apparently, the records on these computers are kinda severely out of date. I think I can recompile a new version of this testing track sequence.
quick updates. Compiling maps, apparently, it takes quite some time. At least the turrets from old Aptura are still coming up. Just a pity the toxic goo is coming up too. The next chamber is the broken one. From there on, you'll have to move fast, because that's the last chamber with plants in it. Hey, 
We're finally at the production facility. I've been able to find a rail a bit further on. I'll meet you up ahead. Good. You should find a way out of this test chamber before your portal gun's black hole violently implodes. Uh, I, I mean, uh, anyway, beyond one of these walls are catwalks leading to the end of a manufacturing line. through the way to storage cube manufacturing. It's now or never. We've got to make our move on Aegis and destroy it before this whole place floods. Once you get out there though, it'll have a beat on you in minutes. So we can't stop moving. That was quick. Better keep moving. Huh. And this is the room where they test if cubes are actually able to press buttons. It's uh, some vital testing. 
A cube that can't press buttons? <laughs> oh, it's a total waste. to slip through the door if it opens. Uh, don't stay too long though, those doors will close with 5,000 pounds of pressure. somehow you managed to get lost. Anyway, we're almost at Aegis's part of the facility. Uh, mind your head here. Uh, those metal plates will hurt if they hit you. Can you believe it takes six of those plates to make one cube? Ridiculous!
impressive sight. The power's been cut off here, but I think I can help. Just give me a moment. Yes, that worked. Let's get going. This reminds me of the day I ended up falling down into those junkyard offices. Dark room, no lights, hit the end of a management rail and down I went. Luckily I found you still alive in that vault or I'd have been stuck there forever. <laughs> so, thanks. For the careful, careful. There's a hole in the floor ahead. Just a bit further and we can get to the mainframe rooms. There should be a lever near that door to open it up. You ready, Mel? Ah, uh, look, Mel. Uh, I just wanted to say something. I, I couldn't have done any of this without your help. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be stuck down there in the junkyard offices. Probably my battery backup would have run out in a few days. So, thanks. So, uh, let's get this done. Whatever happens, I believe in you. Really. Organic threat and mechanical threat number one detected in central hub. Countermeasures activating. All right, so in order to get to the Aegis core, we need to turn on the power, unlock the doors, and replace the turrets. Once that's done, we should have a clear shot at Aegis. Let's get going. According to my research, the manual startup is over in the control room for Generator 2. And it's locked. The control room for Generator 1 has a manual security override though. Give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. That was a bad idea. The security systems kicked in. You can't open the doors from the inside anymore. Hurry, find a way to turn that other generator on and then get out of here. Wait, you just... how did you... Well, I guess manual bypass does work, doesn't it? <laughs> Good work. That's the first part. The security systems are now online. Oh, wait. I didn't think this through, did I?
Right, now that we have the power turned back on, we need to go to the security room overlooking the bridge to the Aegis core. Now that the security doors have unlocked, we should be able to get there. easy as I once thought. Uh, Aegis has done uh, quite a bit of redecorating on these catwalks. Scanners detected organic and mechanical target. Control over test chambers granted. Executing. These things have turrets? security room.
Aegis's main security systems will go down. Then it should be a straight shot to the core. Maturity bullying cardiac and intrusion system. Core moon frame security at 20%. External intrusion detected. All repeated power diverted to start manufacturing line. Production increasing to 350%. Ah, right, the turrets. Uh well, it seems he's diverted all the power that was going to the Death Fizzlers into the turret production. Which, hang on, that's not so bad. Get back to the elevator room. Time to turn the tables on Aegis. Alright, all that's left is those turrets. Remember how we pumped up the old turrets? This is where they might get useful. Head to the manufacturing line. Okay, here's the plan. We've got to take the turret production line down. So, there's about three ways I know to do this. The first should be easy and works most of the time. So, go into the scanner area and take the turret out. Without the model, the turrets can't be built. to overwrite the template. I can reprogram it to not shoot you. And before you know, you got an army. Ah, scratch that idea. Apparently there are no diversity events here, which means I can't bring one in. I guess pumping up those turrets was a total waste of time. Lovely. So, third idea. We gotta override the targeting system on these ones. Manually. There's a targeting control room. It's nearby. Just be ready to run. I'll get the door open. See you on the other side. And just remember, the Nuremberg Olympics.
on the other side. And just remember the Nuremberg Olympics. Be on the other side. And just remember the Nuremberg Olympics. on the other side and just remember the Nuremberg Olympics Be on the other side, and just remember the Nuremberg Olympics. <laughs> there you are! I knew all that track running would do you good someday. Look, that wood model is what's causing the turret to shoot at you. If you replace it with something else, they'll shoot that instead. Oh my, you're clever. Now the turrets will target the server banks instead of you. If we wait a little bit, all the turrets in this part of the facility should be replaced. Allowing you to finally destroy Aegis. Well, why don't you test if the reprogramming worked? Stand in front of the model, one of two things will happen. The first, they won't shoot you. The second, uh, well, it, it shouldn't come to that, just, just trust me.
you that it worked. Uh, totally knew it would work. Oh, well, anyway, the turrets are ours now. Now get back to the elevator room again. Time to bring the fight to him. Those turrets were automatically replaced by the system as it read that there was an update to the turrets' targeting systems. Every update, they get replaced to make sure the turrets are the most up-to-date they can be, and to prevent hacking. That's the emergency exit elevator. Once we shut down Aegis, we should be able to use it to get you out of here. Unfortunately, there are no management rails in there, so... You'll have to do it without me. Th don't worry though, I'll be watching from back here and help you if needed. Alright, Mel. This is it. This is Aegis' server room. Get ready for this. It won't give up without a fight. Organic target detected in quarantine operation center. Preparing localized execution procedure. Well, it seems that he's booting up his security. He doesn't seem to know about the turrets yet. He'll be in for quite a shock. That door seems to be locked. Try the other side. Careful, the water is electrified. Look at the damage that pumping up the water did. Almost a quarter of his servers are completely destroyed. Not bad for a simple maintenance core. A anyways, try to find a way to the back of the room. There's a turret dispenser over there. Dispensing turrets. Executing turret. There you go. Yes, it's working! The turrets are shooting the servers! Grab that turret and destroy the rest of them. Turret targeting parameters compromised. Searching for alternative defensive measures. Good. You destroyed them all. I can unlock the other side now. Uncompromised turrets found. Deploying archives turrets. That doesn't sound good. Crap! He got his hands on the old turrets! Those still have the old targeting parameters. Ah, uh, why'd I pump those useless things up? Watch yourself! Careful, the water is electrified. Look at the damage that pumping up the water did! Almost a quarter of his servers are completely destroyed. Not bad for a simple maintenance core. A anyways, try to find a way to the back. Dispensing turrets. Executing threat. Hello. It's working. The turrets are killing the servers. Grab that turret and destroy the rest of them. Who are you? Turrets targeting parameters compromised. Searching for alternative Good. You destroyed them all. I can unlock the other side now. Uncompromised turrets found. Deploying archives turrets. That doesn't sound good. Crap! He got his hands on the old turrets! Those still have the old targeting parameters. Ah, why did I pump those useless things up? Watch yourself! Is anyone there? Are you still there? Good night. Searching. Initiating asphyxiation program. Draining oxygen. Lethal oxygen concentration in D minus six minutes. Okay, Mel. This is it. You have just a few minutes before all the oxygen is gone. If you can't shut him down before he shuts you down, the entire facility will flood with the toxic goo that is still pumping up. 
inside the mainframe and shut it down, we'll be home free. You can leave, and I can live forever. So, whenever you're ready, get in the mainframe and shut him down. And, and stop the toxic goo from flooding the facility here, <laughs> you know. Uh, you should be able to fling yourself on top of him. There's a hatch on him you can open to manually shut it down from the inside. seems to be the user control interface. You can control its entire functions from here. I can walk you through some of what you need to do. First things first, stop the toxic goo from pumping up. We should be able to contain it in test shaft Lima whiskey. Oh wait, Mel. Before shutting this thing down completely, Remember that there was a third target it was trying to take out? Well, we're not three, unless you can tell me otherwise. Try to see what you can do. Type um, ping underscore target underscore list. 
Am, am I reading this right? Was this thing trying to destroy her? It was targeting GLaDOS? Mel, what have we done? GLaDOS killed every scientist in this facility before being destroyed by a tenacious test subject. This thing, Aegis. It was trying to finish the job and flood the facility to destroy her. Mel, we might just have given GLaDOS a chance to get back in power. How could we have done that? Why didn't I see it sooner? Well, if you want to get out of here, now is your best chance. You don't want to be around when she comes back online. You should shut down Aegis now. Needs a passcode? It should be around here somewhere. Take a look around. Twenty fifty-six. I've seen that number around a lot in this place. Strange. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Aegis is in its final shutdown sequence. Mel, come back to the lift. I can get you out of this facility. Okay, Mel. The elevator is in lockdown until you put your portal device in the incinerator over there. Uh, Mel, I, I just wanted to say something. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really, if it weren't for you, I would have drowned at the offices in the junkyard. I'm so sorry about lying to you in the beginning. It was a pretty bad Cave Johnson impression. <laughs> anyway, this thing should take you out of here, back to your normal life. Well, whatever you can call normal by this point. I don't know exactly what's out there, but it should be better than what's down here. So, just enjoy the rest of your life. Look, the elevator is here. See you later, Mel. Thank you.